Okay, so today I'm going to do my August favourites. Um, and as usual, it's just a couple of things I'd like to share with you all in music, fashion, beauty, that kind of thing. Um, there's not a lot today, which is good because I usually like to ramble, so I'll just jump straight into it. So the first two things are, well, the first one is a toner, which I've been using forever. And I'll just mention it again because I think it's amazing. It is the Garnier Pure Active Pore Purifying Toner, which looks like this. Um, and this is really good, especially if you've got oily skin or you've got like an oily T-zone, um, because this sort of uh, clarifies your pores and it really does kind of help with the way your pores look and that kind of thing. Um, it's really nice, it's very cleansing as well, it's not too heavy. So I've been incorporating this into my skin routine and I have seen a major difference in my skin since I've started to use it and the sun's destroying my light right now. Plus I would recommend this for all of you that have oily skin, especially if you have like really big pores um, and you want to sort of calm them down a little bit. This is a really good toner. And the next Garnier product is actually their oops, uh, makeup remover, which has the oil on the top here, I don't know if you can see that, and the cleansing water at the bottom. Uh, these kind of things I always thought was a bit of a hype because I've seen these around and just never ever bought one because I've always thought that oh it will do exactly the same thing as a normal cleansing water. It's really nice and light um, and obviously all you do for those of you that didn't know you just shake it up like this and it just combines the two products like that um, and then you use it while it's combined. I've been using the Rocket, uh, Maybelline's Rocket Mascara and that is the first ever waterproof makeup that I have. So I have been testing it out. Um, it does an okay job I'd say. I used to actually hate Garnier, I don't know why, but recently I, it's been great for my skin and um, it's not affordable, I have to say Garnier can be quite expensive, but these two are definitely in my daily, everyday skin routine um, and I really love their products and I also have the body lotion which is somewhere around my room right now and it's, oh my gosh, oh sort of spider. Uh, so I've been loving Garnier and I definitely recommend it if you guys are looking for a new brand to try out then definitely try Garnier out. And I think I saw this first, my sister had this and then I decided I'd buy it because I was looking for a new, oh gosh, the sun. Um, as I mentioned in my last favourites I um, got really tanned um, over a week and uh, yeah my skin tone just completely changed. So my usual foundation did not fit me. So I was looking for a powder or a foundation or a liquid or something um, that would sort of fit my new skin tone. And I found this. This is the Revlon Nearly Naked Powder. So it looks like that. Um, and it's just a really easy to apply powder. I use my Real Techniques buffing brush to just swirl it around in the powder and apply it to my face. I'm wearing it today. Um, and I don't think it was that expensive. Like It's usually like £8, something like that. Um, and it's really compact. I like the fact that you can just close it up like that and pop it in your bag. Um, and it fits my skin tone right now, so I think that was the main reason why I did buy it. Um, but yeah, what else can you say about that? Yeah, so last thing is a perfume, and it is the new Ghost Eclipse perfume, and obviously this is a sample size. This is a really nice smelling, I don't know how to describe it. I think it said somewhere like it has notes of like mandarin, um, bergamot, or something like that. Um, it's got like blackberry or something in there. A little bit of rose and I've just been wearing this like around it's a really nice I'd say I'd wear it like daytime but I don't know if it might be a bit too deep um, for daytime but anyway I wear every perfume I don't even care and my fashion favorites probably consist of two things two kinds of things um, and the first thing is over there so I'll just go and grab it it's this shirt that I have here and you guys have probably seen this like yeah you've seen this before this is the shirt that I featured in my lookbook so it's the what is it it's a shirt <laughs> this is that um what do you call it burgundy colored shirt this is from H&M if you're wondering oh this isn't in the shops anymore I got this about three years ago when it was on sale so I got this in um about two autumns ago this is kind of has a bit of a trampy look I have to say I have it I've had it for so long it kind of looks a bit trampy now but I do, I kind of like that when I'm having like a casual day I'll just throw this on. And my last couple of fashion favourites are necklaces and the one I'm wearing today is one of them. So basically it's just really dainty um, simple necklaces like these. I'll just show you this one. Uh, these are all from Forever 21 and again I bought these a couple of 
years ago maybe two years ago now this one which is like a little bar necklace um, and it just has like the gems and so on there it's like a crescent shape which is really pretty so i like to layer the necklaces that kind of thing i used to like gold jewelry but now I'm, i like silver i don't know why so i've been reaching for silver jewelry over gold this season they're just timeless and they never go out of fashion i want to quickly talk about this um, i'm sure all of you have these little loom bands as well like this is really cool um, I didn't make this one, someone made this for me um, and I just like taking it off and playing with it because it's just stretchy <laughs> and I have one game app that I absolutely love oh my gosh, I can't believe I've gotten to this hype but it's the Kim Kardashian uh, Hollywood game and I actually thought, oh that's not going to be me I'm not going to go on that game I'm not going to give her any money or anything like that but generally like it's just so addictive um, so you go through all these levels you get to go to Paris and you get to go to Miami you get to go to LA and it's just like going to do like fashion shoots and, and buying houses and clothes and it's very materialistic I kind of realise that now but um, it's just fun um, I'm on level... 11 at the moment and I'm on C list so obviously I feel really proud of myself I've gone from E to C and I've literally played it all month so that's that tells you how much commitment you have to have it's really annoying though because when you run out of energy you've got to leave it for like a couple of hours to restore itself so that's the only thing that I find so irritating but apart from that it's such a fun game if you haven't seen it then definitely have a look you know I guess you never know hands down my favorite music of the month it has to be rivers and robots and i'm sure a lot of you probably don't know what i'm talking about but basically it's a band called rivers and robots and they're formed in manchester in the uk um, again they're christian artists or they're christian based artists and contemporary um, and i've just been loving their music and i first heard their song fountains last year um, on the radio and i fell in love with it and they've released a new album i think it's called all things new I believe if not then I'll put annotation here um, and I love that kind of music now like, I think I'm that's my like, favorite kind of music that kind of calm tempo music um so like my favorite songs on that album is we have overcome fall down voice that stills the raging seas I think that kind of concludes my favorite yeah I don't know what else to say oh my gosh that's it um um I understand this video is going out quite late so I'm sorry about that I think from this week on my upload day will probably have to change i've got a job now so it's a nine to five job so it will probably require me to be working most of the days so i don't think i have time in the evenings to film a video especially because it's getting dark um, and lighting's really bad at the moment um but i'll update you guys and tell you about it later on when i've decided what to do so yeah that's there's a change in my life which is good um and yeah so i think that's everything <laughs>